Last week, we customized our Radius CRM. This week, let's look at setting up some email templates with that customized information and other data to prepare marketing strategies for open enrollment. All email templates, regardless of what kind of marketing, are stored in drips. So let's go there. Click Add Email Template. Name the template. Let's call it Client AEP Questionnaire. Add a subject line of Winter is coming. Who will seize open enrollment? Okay, that's probably a bit dated now, but hey, 2020 has been about 17 years or five seconds long, depending what moment you're in. I recommend using agent snippets to personalize the message. These snippets will pull the information from the agent's My Information fields. I wouldn't recommend BCCing yourself on this one since you're going to be pushing this out to all of your clients. If it was something like a day-triggered marketing plan for a renewal or something, I would recommend BCCing yourself. But on this, we'll skip it. In the body of the template, you have a lot of options to play with. I'm not going to go in-depth on each of these instructions as we have a more specific tutorial for creating email templates. But let's focus on what will be an effective message using personalization in this lesson. You've got your content options here a formatting section here in Rows, and then other settings for the content. Let's go to Rows. I'm going to keep this fairly simple, but I'll pull over a single row and a more structured row so that I can later add in a smaller logo and a longer rectangle for our signature lines. Let's go to Content. Drag over text to where it says, drag it here. You can only drop in places that give you the option to drag it here. Let's put in some text. I'm going to personalize the leader client's data with this merge tag option. It's the same thing that we call snippets, but this template builder calls them merge tags. Also, it says lead first name, but it's really lead or client first name. Okay. Hello, merge tag, select first name, comma, and then I'm going to paste some text in here so I don't embarrass myself with bad typing. So something like, I hope you've been well. We're gearing up for open enrollment starting November 15th and wanted to see if anything has changed for you. This is the information we have on file please write or call back with any updates or savings goals or set an appointment so we can give you your 2021 options. Let's put in the client data that we want to verify for accuracy. So the merge tag options for name, address, city, comma, state, zip, I'll type in the text main phone and then use the merge tag for phone. Cell phone and then the merge tag for cell phone. Email. Employer and then I'll put the company. I can select all and make it the same font or change up the sizing here. Now click back on content and let's add a button so that they can schedule an appointment with us. Grab the button option. Drag it here. Let's click into the button to change the text to Schedule an Appointment. You'll put the URL to link to here. And you can also change the color, fonts, and more on this right-hand side column.
click back onto content. Now let's add a logo to this content holder. Drag over the image option. Browse for the image. You must click into a folder to upload. Also, let me flag to you that you can search for free images here once you've also selected the folder. This can be helpful for more flashy campaigns. That's covered in the full template tutorial, so we'll just go ahead and instead upload this logo here. Images can only be JPEGs if they're going to display as images in this template builder. If you have them in a different format, like PDF, first convert them to JPEG before importing here. Upload. Then insert. Now in the actions, you can link this logo to your website. Or you can apply effects and more to resize, add borders, add text, and much more. Now let's add a text content option here to the agent signature. Again, I'll use merge tags for the agent options. I've added in an agent license number as a custom field option. So let me add that here. Now that I'm done editing, let's go to Settings, and I'll widen the width to the full size of the email. Now save the template. Let's send a sample to ourselves to see how it looks. You can always go back and edit anything that doesn't look good. Review other fancier options in the full instructional on email template creation. Next week, we're going to add this template to a workflow for client AEP check-in. Mm -hmm.